basic repository of libsm64 and download the one for Unity. Here, it's a little bit harder. So, what we want to do is, first of all, create a folder in our downloads or wherever we're doing this. So, create a new folder, call it whatever you will. For this tutorial, we're going to talk, um, we're going to call it, where is it? <laughs> tutorial. And inside of this, we're going to have two folders, which is package and project. And these ones, this is going to hold the package, which will require us to go to the here, which we will copy this. This is going to be our package. So we go to um, file manager, open up package, and open this in terminal. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here. First of all, we're going to have to have git installed. So if you don't have that, just go switch up git, and you're going to have to install git bash. But if you already have it, you can go git clone the link, which they give you in the, which I'm going to put in the description. You enter, and it clones in here. This is going to be our package. Next, what we're going to do is, sorry, it's actually the project. What we want to do is we want to go back into the package and clone only Unity. It's very confusing, but that's how it is. And now when we put this in here, once it's done, it has the package.json here. And now that we've got both of these here, we can go into Unity Hub and use the install 2019.3.10f1 to launch our project, which we um, cloned. But if you don't already have this, you don't have to sweat it, because if I add it here, go to my downloads and go wherever that is, um, then tutorial project, this thing, it'll give you a prompt if you don't have that installed, which shows you which version you need to run. And after it loads in, which usually takes a little bit, finally loaded in. Now, as you can see, if we open up pipe scene, which is one of the demos, it does not work at all. If we try running it, there's a compiler. There's no lib SM64. But do not worry, we can easily fix this. We have to go to package manager and add a package from our disk. We can go to our downloads, tutorial, package, here, and go to the package JSON, open it, and it's going to give us this thing. And once this completely loads in, there's still going to be an error. We don't have example input provider, but that's also fixed by importing the sample from libsm64, which is like this. Now that that's done, uh, full screen, it's there. We can go to the sample scene, and here we have this thing, which is the example for the Mario clone. But we don't see Mario here. That's because we have to run it. But first of all, before we run anything else, there's one more step that I've overlooked, which we have to do. We have to take our ROM from before and remake it to base ROM.us. And since I already have one of these, I'm going to drag and drop it in here and actually locate this and explore and move it up one because it's supposed to be right here. And now there should be a base ROM. So once you have that all set up, you'll have Mario with a controller. This is the only thing that works. And you with the um, with the right joystick, you move up and down for left and right. And with the left joystick, you can move around. This is using a pro Nintendo controller, so Y is jump, A is attack, or while jumping, um, sliding, or whatever this is, and then L on the back of the controller is to jump backwards. And yeah, now you've got a fully working Mario 64 clone, or something like that. And it's just your job now to import your own levels and stuff. If you want to know how to import the levels and make them work, you can continue watching. If this is all you needed to know, well, have a nice time and please subscribe. Anyways, to import our level, we're going to want to create a new level because <laughs> this one has some weird shading. If you like the shading, keep it. But if you don't, then we create a new scene. We delete everything already in the scene and put this in. But the problem is that when we run it here, 
it does not look good. That's because we're using a directional light, and for some reason, directional lights are buggy with this Mario thing, so that's not what we're going to do. We're going to delete the directional light and add a point light. This, I don't know why, but if you increase the distance, it can, it does stuff. It'll look better than the actual um, directional light, which is supposed to be a sun. So we can duplicate this, duplicate this, until we have some something like this. And now, when we run the tutorial thing, we have Mario in his full glory, <laughs> in full HD without the weird um, lighting bug. But now, we want the new level, right? So, we have to go to um, Super Mario 64... Um, models, and we go to the models resource, which is a resource for a lot of Mario models. <laughs> and we and the one that works out of all of these is Wet Dry World for some reason. So we want to download this as a zip, and in here there's this Wet WDR, which we want to take out over here, and go into Unity and drag and drop it in the folder and all because once this is in it didn't work for the first time so usually it takes a little bit of trying yep it worked now we have wdr here and it's a full level and voila now that we've got this in we've got to do a few more things as you can probably see here if we go inside of the level it's lit up but sometimes there's a dumb error in which it doesn't light up. But if that's still not, if it's not there, then it's it's good. Anyways, what we want to do is add, uh, I have terrain here, so we want to search terrain. And SM64 static terrain, this is the code we want to put on. And we can set it to whatever, stone, slide, whatever, but we're going to put it to stone, default. And what else we want to do is we want to add um, mesh collider. Because this is what makes Mario collide with the stuff. So now when we run it, we have Mario in his glory. And a fully working world. Except that it's a bit too big for Mario. There's two options that we have. Scaling Mario or scaling the world. Scaling the world is easier than scaling Mario. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this and get here and scale it down to 0 0.4 which is the size I found was best fitted with this Mario so what we want to do is oh, oh what did I do here <laughs> 0 0.4 now we want to switch to the mode of, of um, drag and drag this all the way down here now when we run it again we should be able to see up yep, it's over there so we have to walk all the way, yes, Mario's very lazy, so he doesn't like to walk. We're here. We're inside of the wet-dry world. Now, there's an issue with shadows here in the back where nothing renders in the back because there's no light in the back for some reason. It's super dumb. So what we want to do is move another of the point lights straight there. So what we go, we get this, we put it here, since this is where we're going to be doing this, and we want to duplicate it. And make it a bit smaller. So here we want to make it a bit smaller so that the intensity decreases. So I'd say around 1000 or 100. Any of these is good. It just needs to fit with the brightness level that you wish to have. And then we can also duplicate this once more and put it on this corner. And then once more on this corner. And once more on this corner. There's another issue with this level that you're going to have to delete this because it's it's in the original game it moves down or up or goes away somehow but yeah. So we're going to have to unpack the prefab completely to actually delete this. And yeah. That's the wet dry world, but there is no way to access the top level because physics. So, we're going to have to scale it up like this. I know it looks very derpy, but it's got to work. And like this, so that it becomes a sort of bridge. Now, if you want to do the lower section of Wet Dry World, we can go with Mario there. And uh, yes, he still has all the animations from the game or whatever when he gets stuck or something. So yeah. And now we're in oversaturated Wet Dry World. 
if it looks too pixely, you can zoom out the scale of the image to make it look more HD, but I honestly don't like that usually, so if it's too bright, you can also change the intensity. So how you can do that is um, <laughs> quite simple, really. You go point lights and you lower the intensity. Who knew? Anyways. <laughs> And the top part of wet dry world also works. I will prove that right now by going there. So if this will work. And boom, we're at the top of wet dry world. And we can play around, do whatever. It's a Mario level. It's very, very nice that this works. And yeah, that's how to import a Mario level in an SMB4 level with the SMB4 code inside of Unity of all engines. So yeah, please subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, um, subscribe and like this video.